Hey, how's it going, my friends? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow, where I'm Eric, your host, and I got Buddy the Dog, my co-host, and we've got a nice product from the people over at Asus over here to my right. This is their new Direct Cu2 GeForce GTX 780. Now, this thing's totally not based on a reference design. Features their Direct Cu2 cooling. It has all kinds of good things that make this card superior than a standard reference card. With that said, let's jump in and let's check it out. All right, folks, so here we go. Like any unboxing and first look, obviously we're gonna show you the cotton picking box. So here we go, the ASUS logo. The direct CU2 overclocked version, CU being the periodic table marking for copper. You guys can see the cooling here. Basically, the direct CU means that the copper heatsink is directly up against the GPU for maximum cooling benefit. Overclocked edition. Three gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, the Digi Plus Super Alloy Power and Stable Overclocking, the GPU Tweak, which is their software, Windows 8 ready, obviously, GeForce GTX 780. We're gonna flip it around to the back of the box where they just really once again go over the supreme features, the Direct CU2, the Overclocked Edition. And we here once again to see the Digi Plus VRM plus Super Alloy Power. Now, what this really does is it helps your components run cooler and for much longer. As long as there's not a lot of heat variation in your card, it will run for much longer. And actually, with the way that the overclocking works with Boost, the cooler the card runs, the better it is. They use their GPU tweak for doing the overclocking. Let's now just jump in though and see the card and its accessories. So I'm gonna go ahead and just flip the top right here. We'll cap, get that out, and get our usual box within a box, 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 yada, 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 yada. So here we go. Asus, put the top right here on top. We'll see all the accessories. Let's see if there's any other accessories over here. Now, a lot of people always ask me this about ASUS cards, and I'm gonna show you, this is directly from the factory. Now look, the plastic bag, anti-static bag is not on the card. I've never gotten a card from them with it. It's always inside of this anti-static foam, which you guys can see inside of here. But for now, let's just go ahead and close that up and be a little teasing bastard, and let's take a look at the accessories. So we'll pop the cap here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right. So we have two six pin to eight pin power converter, two six to the eight. We'll toss it off the side here. We have our speed setup guide, driver, GPU tweak, all that good stuff's in there. And then we have a single SLI bracket. Pretty far away too, very, very far. So it gives you lots of options on how far it's gonna be on your motherboard. So pretty cool stuff. That's all the accessories pack. Let's move past it and let's see the card. Dun, dun, dun. Now right off the bat, folks, you guys can see it has two fans on it. So let me just pop this down. It's easier to work up here. Now when it says direct CU2, what that means is two fans. The two designates having two fans. If it's just a direct CU card, it just has one fan. Somebody asked me the other day if Direct CU2 meant it was a newer version. No, it just means two fans. And now you can see that Asus has taken the time though to actually change the fan structure. You're now getting two different types of fans on it. It's still open air architecture all the way around the card. You guys can see cleanly all of the heat pipes running along the side. Looks like a tricked out Chevy from back in the 70s. You got your PCI 3.0 interface right there. The plug for your fan is right here. We'll just keep spinning the card around and around and around. Let you guys take a look at the back. Here you guys can see some of the aluminum heat fins. So essentially what happens is with the direct CU copper, all the heat gets bopped into all of the fins, goes through the heat pipes, and then gets blown out into your case. Now one thing though with open air architecture like this, you're gonna wanna have good airflow inside of your case. If you have really terrible airflow, the hot air is going to remain inside there because this just is generated to blow the heat away from the card. So let's just flip it around real quick again. You see a six pin, eight pin power. Once again, we see the direct CU2 nomenclature. Giant heat pipe going here. Now this is something folks that I always think is totally badass about ASUS cards. And that is this bitchin' backplate. I love the shit out of this, and I know most of you guys do too. I can basically set my card down anywhere, I can touch my card, I don't have to worry about any of my components getting strat, shorting out, cutting me. Asus, I got a hat to you folks, badass job on this. Now you guys can see also there are a bunch of screws located all the way across the back here. Usually you only have to remove these four screws, but I actually took a closer look and you have to remove many, many more to get this cooling solution off. So it'll be a little bit more difficult for those people who want to play around with it if you're gonna to try to water cool it or anything like that. Now, we also have in the back here, two SLI fingers. 
Obviously, this is a top of the line card, so it is going to do quad SLI, no problem at all. Then last but not least, let's flip it around. Let's take a look at the rear I.O. Standard display port, standard HDMI, DVI-D, DVI-I. Everything you need to get up and going. Now, it's really weird as I'm seeing a lot of motherboards coming out, and a lot of these new motherboards no longer have a DVI connection on them at all. So uh, we're going to wonder if DVI is going to become a thing of the past here in the future. So that's it, folks. You guys get the card. All of this lovely stuff that we have over right here. And that's everything that comes in the box. The brand new Asus Direct CU2 GeForce GTX 780. All right, folks. So there you have it. The unboxing and first look of the brand new Asus GeForce GTX 780, their Direct CU2 version. You guys can see it as everything you need to get up and going. Also, if you guys like this video and like what we're doing here, make sure you guys hit the like button down there. And also, if you're not subscribed and you'd like to do so, so you never miss out on any of the goodness here at Tech of Tomorrow, click this little box right over here where you guys can subscribe to us. And like usual, folks, I know a lot of you people are going, where are the scores? Where are the scores? Well, if you guys want to see the scores and the full written review, make sure you guys check out my article over on www.techoftomorrow.com, which will also be down there below that like button in the description. So everything's down there. I'm Elric. We'll see you guys back here on the channel for more tech goodness.